did you know if you have less soft drinks and drink more water, you're going to lose weight? But who cares? Why is that important? It's not just looking good, is it? No, yeah. and James, most people already know if you lose weight, you drop your cholesterol and your blood pressure mm. and, of course, improve reflux okay. and sleep apnea and so on. But few understand that you also reduce your cancer risk oh. substantially mm. and you can extend your life. For example, being... Well, up to 10 years, was it? Yes, being okay. very, very overweight okay. is equivalent to smoking a pack of cigarettes every day which cuts your life short by up to 10 Oh, years. ouch. Mm. Okay, but uh, the real question is, how do you lose weight? Mm. I mean, we, we, uh, you lose weight for a little bit in the short term, maybe, That's but it always right. comes back on again. Mm. So, first point, mm. don't follow any fad diet. And okay. they just come and go because the diet does mm. not address the real problem, mm. which is your diet. Ah. We've got to look at what we're doing, what we're eating, and how much we're moving to, mm. to address the core underlying problem. Mm. So there's four key tips that okay. I'd like to give yeah. today. One set a realistic mm. and achievable goal. So you can oh, have yes. an overarching goal okay. to say lose 20 kilos, mm. but break it down into smaller mm. steps to do with eating mm. and physical activity on a weekly basis. Okay. And that's more achievable, more realistic okay. and sets you up to succeed rather than to feel like a failure if you don't achieve things. So I set my goal, but what do I need to do? Mm. So then in yeah. terms of yeah. eating, I think we need to have a change in mindset. Mm. It's not about going on something and then going off it and back to usual oh, habits. Oh, that's what I've done sometimes. <laughs> We need to change how we eat every day for the rest uh -huh. of our life. So a key thing is to follow a plant-based mm. diet. Mm. Be it become um, as much of a vegetarian or even a vegan mm. as you can stand. Yeah. In other words, eat lots of vegetables, yeah. um, eat lots of legumes yeah. and include some whole grains and some nuts. So replace fast foods with plants. That's right, yeah. because the data shows the more plants you add into your diet, the slimmer your waistline, the lower your BMI. And that's from big studies around the world. I've been munching lots of nuts over <laughs> summer and I've felt less hungry. Does that help? They do. They yeah. blunt your appetite oh. and even all the calories in nuts are yeah. Not absorbed. Okay. Mm. And the third point, James, I'd like to make is to monitor yourself. Yeah. There is power. Oh, you bought a food diary along. Yes, yeah. being aware yeah. of what you're doing. So, yeah. for example, that's a food diary that mm. we give to clients within my clinic. Oh, does it come from your website? Yep, you can download Surad. a free copy. Com. Yep. Okay. Surad. It's just com. a template. And by recording everything you eat and drink on yeah. a regular basis makes yeah. you much more aware of what you're doing. You yeah. can see it across the week, you yeah. can see it over the day, you can see all those little bits. Yeah, I thought it was a bit it goes breakfast, then snacks, <laughs> lunch, then snacks. It records everything. And it changes yeah. how you eat. People okay. always tell me as soon as I start yeah. recording well, I just choose oh. not to eat certain foods or to yeah. eat others more what about because some I of have these to report. New electronic devices. Mm. So if yeah. you're a techo, mm. if you love these gadgets, if you've got a smartphone, there are mm. gadgets there like Easy Diet Diary mm. or My Fitness Pal, okay. and you can re yeah. record what you eat yeah. and, and how much you Do move those there. Do those stepometers work? They do. Mm. So you can buy a simple pedometer that counts okay. your steps to keep, again, aware mm. of, of what, what you're doing mm. in terms of movement. Or even wear what I'm wearing here is called an accelerometer. I thought it was a new bracelet. It matches your outfit. <laughs> it does look a bit like that. Yeah. Um, it measures how much I move. It also measures my sleep pattern because ah, I'm also okay. interested in getting enough yeah. sleep. So being aware of how much you're moving, what you're eating is powerful. And fourthly, mm go and see a health professional, such oh, as an accredited okay. practicing yep. dietitian, because you're going to learn lots of new stuff. Mm. Now, we all think we're experts because we all eat, mm. but there's always something new you can learn from the latest research. Well, if it's a chronic uh, condition, you do need professional mm -hmm. help, don't you? And you need the accountability, and that's mm. how it h helps mainly. You're reporting into someone regularly, you've got that accountability, mm. and that is pivotal in mm. making sure you're successful over time. And if you have a little lapse, well, Rome wasn't built in a day, was it? Make sure it doesn't become a major okay. relapse. Yeah, and the final point I just yeah. want to make, James, is, you know, weight loss can be considered in two stages. You've got the actual weight loss period, okay. and then you've got the weight loss maintenance okay. period, and that's the harder one. Yeah. Now, research studies show that, in fact, once you lose yeah. the weight, the weight loss maintenance period is a period you should yeah. still be just as focused. It takes two to five years okay. for weight loss maintenance to become easier, which yeah. means we need to have a long-term plan in terms of our lifestyle. Yeah and um, plan yeah. to eat better, to move more, yeah. beyond the one month, two month, three yeah. month period, which is what most people consider yeah. is, is a diet period, mm. but in terms of a lifetime. Well, I'm gonna kickstart my New Year's resolution and think, hey, it's not the next month, it's the next two to five years. Get At some least. professional help, <laughs> suerad.com. Your cheers, folks, all the very best. Two to five years. <laughs> and thanks, Sue, too. Pleasure. Cheers.